everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number 12 of exercise 10.2. Question says a triangle ABC is drawn to circumscribe a circle of radius 4 cm such that the segments BD and DC into which BC is divided by the point of contact D are of length 8 cm and 6 cm. Respectively, you have to find the sides AB and AC. So here, this is a triangle ABC circumscribing the circle. That means if a circle is drawn inside this triangle, it should touch all four, all three sides. The radius of this circle is given to us as 4 cm. And this point D is a point of contact between this tangent and this circle. And divide this line BC into 8 cm and 6 cm segments. Now, you have to find this side and this side. Now, because this is an external point and two tangents are drawn, so obviously the length of tangent must be equal. So, this should be equal to 6 cm. Similarly, This is, this is an external point, again two tangents are drawn, so the length of both the tangents should be equal. And from this A external point, again two tangents are drawn, if I consider, or if I say, let consider this, this line is equal to x centimeter, obviously this line should be equal to x centimeter. And name these two, another point of contact as E and F. Now, you have to find this length and this length. To find these lengths, what you have to do, first of all, you have to find the area of this triangle or you can say, you have to find the area of this triangle using two methods and after that, you have to compare both the areas because in both the cases, we are finding the area of a triangle. That means the area should be equal in both the cases. Okay. Now, the first case by which, or it is the first method by which we can find an area of a triangle is using Heron's formula. So, first of all, we are going to use Heron's formula to find the area of this triangle. After that, what we are going to do, we are going to divide this triangle into three other triangles. Let's join this and this and this. So in this case, we have divided, we have divided this triangle into three small triangles. The first is AOC, second is OCB and third is OAB. And after that, we are going to find the area of all three triangles and adding all the area of all three triangles will give me the area of this complete triangle. Okay. Now, let's find. Uh, before that, this is the center and this is the radius. So obviously, radius should be perpendicular to the tangent. That means, that should be a right 90 degree angle. Similarly, if I draw a radius, this should be 90 degree. And similarly, if I draw this, this should be 90 degree. Okay. Now, first of all, let's find the area of this triangle using Heron's formula. And what is Heron's formula? To find the area, <coughs> to find the area, the formula for area is S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. And what is S? Obviously, A, B, C are the sides of the triangle. And what is S? S is the semi perimeter. That means if I have to find perimeter, the half of it will be its semi perimeter, which is S A. Now, first of all, let's find what will be the value of S. For that, obviously, I have to add all three sides and then divide it by 2. So, this is 6 plus S, sorry, 6 plus X 
this is 14 so 6 plus x plus 14 and this is 8 plus x is 8 plus x divided by 2 so this is 14 plus 6 is 20 20 plus 8 is 28 and x plus x is 2x divided by 2 now if I divide this equation by 2 it will be 14 plus x ok obviously you have to divide 2 by for, from this as well as from this so our s is 14 plus x now let's substitute the values here our s is 14 plus x multiplied by x, s is 14 plus x minus a and what is our first side which is 6 plus x so it will be 6 plus x but because there is a negative sign outside the bracket so sign gonna change inside the bracket similarly our second thing s will be 14 plus x and b is 14 and the third thing is again s is 14 plus x and c is 8 minus x because our third side is 8 plus x but there is negative sign outside this so the sign inside the bracket will get changed let's solve this this 14 plus x will remain as it is this x and x can be cancelled and 14 minus 6 is 8 here 14 and 14 can be cancelled should be x here 14 minus 8 is 6 so here the area should be 6 into 8 is 48x multiplied by 14 plus x so this is our area dimensions are in centimeter so area should be centimeter square so this is the area of this complete triangle now let's find the area of this triangle by another method and that is we have to find the area of all three triangles and adding all three triangles the area of all three triangles will give me the area of this complete one and obviously all three triangles are there is a right angle there so the area of triangle area of triangle ABC will be equal to the area of triangle OCB and to find the area of this triangle we can use half base into height so half our base is this which is 14 and our height is 4 so here the area should be half base into height half our base is 14 and height is 4 plus the area of this triangle ok so here again the formula will remain the same half multiplied by base here the base is this which is 6 plus x multiplied by its height and again height will be the radius which is given to us as 4 cm obviously for this triangle this is our height and this is the radius for this circle so it should be 4 and in the third triangle AOB the area uh, will be half base into height and here base is this 8 plus x and height is 4 ok now if I solve this 
can be cancelled seven times, this can be cancelled two times, and this can be cancelled two times. So it should be 28 plus, it should be 2 when uh, I am solving this right away. So 2 multiplied by 6 is 12, and it should be 2x plus here it should be 16 plus 2x. So if I solve this further, so here area of triangle ABC will be equal to this is 28 plus 12 is 40 and it is 56 and plus it is 4x. Okay, now here the area of triangle ABC is this. Now in this case, the area of triangle is this. So obviously, in both the cases, area should be remain the same because we are finding the area of this triangle only. So in both the cases, or you can say in triangle in equation first and in equation second, in both the cases, area should be same. So comparing first, which is 48x multiplied by 14 plus x should be equals to 56 plus 4x. Now, if I have to remove the under root sign, obviously I have to square both the sides and here when I square it, under root sign will get cancelled and this side when I have squared this will be a plus b whole square and a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 into a into b. Now let's solve this further. 48x multiplied by 14 will be equal to 48 multiplied by 14. It will be 672x and it will be 48x square. And that will be equal to the square of 56 and the square of 56 is is 31, 36. And it will be 16 x square and it will be 448 x. Now let's solve this further. Uh, let's shift all these values to this side. It will be 48x square and minus 16x square. So it will become 32x square. Here it is 672x and here it is 448x. So subtracting 448 from 672 will be here it will be 12 minus 8 is 4. Here it will be 6. So 6 minus 4 will be 2 and here it will be 6 minus 4 will be Last will be 3, 1, 3, 6 is equal to 0. Now, uh, I hope you have copied this thing. So, you can pause the video and you can copy this thing because uh, the rest of the part I am going to solve here. So, let me um, clean this part. So this is our equation let's take first of all let's divide this complete equation by 2 so it will be 16x square plus 112x minus A 
again divided by 2 it will be uh, uh, let's divide it by 4 it will be 4x square plus 28x and it will be 7x minus so here this is a quadratic equation now we have to solve this quadratic equation so obviously we have to use the splitting the middle term formula or you can say splitting the middle term uh, way of solving this in where you have to split this 7 into two parts such that the multiplication should be 98 and after subtracting we should get 7 okay so we have to think of two numbers if you are not able to think direct what you can do you can factorize 98 okay now these are the factors if I make this my first group, so it is 40 and this is second, so it is 7. So these are the two numbers. Multiplication of these two numbers is 98 and if I subtract these two numbers, I will get 7. So the 7 can be split into 14 and 7 and if I open this bracket, It will be like this. Now I have to take common from these two. So taking SI, x as common, so it will be x plus 14. And from here, if I take 7 as common, so it will be. Now from this, this is the first term and this is the second term. x plus 14 is common. And so the remaining thing will be x minus 7. So here the factor of 2 uh, or you can say the multiplication of 2 things is equal to 0 that means one of the value must be 0 here. Okay. So if I consider this first value as equal to 0 so the x will be equal to minus 14. Here the x is the side of this triangle or you can say the length of this segment so x cannot be negative okay now in the other case x minus 7 is equal to 0 so x should be equal to 7 so that means the value of this x should be 7 so similarly this value should be 7 so now we have to find the sides AB so this complete side should be 6 plus 7 which is AB should be 13 and sorry AC should be 13 this side AC should be 13 and that side AB should be 15 centimeters so this is how you can solve this question if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact us this is our phone number you can call us or you can send us your query on whatsapp thank you